Welcome back, workout number nine in this 12 part Tabata series. Remember, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight movements we're gonna cycle through a total of four times for a total of 20 minutes. Remember, we're just taking the Tabata time format in this workout. Now today's workout is gonna be more of a total body strength day. So the last couple days have been a little bit more cardio, today's a little bit more strength. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube page so you don't miss any more workouts. And at the same time, before we get started, click right here so you get warmed up and you're ready to rock. Let's get started. We're gonna start out, we're gonna do a plank shoulder tap. So you're gonna be in a push up plank position and we're gonna tap the shoulders. So this would be a nice and easy pace to pick it up. We're gonna go quick. If that's too challenging, you can always go elbow to elbow or hand to hand. So let's pick it up to finish this. We're gonna do this a couple more times today so we can get after it in the further rounds. Good. From there, we got the sumo squat hold. So we're gonna go toes to the corners of the room and we're gonna drop down, sink in those hips. And we're gonna hold right here. Chest has to stay up. You can say a prayer if you need to, but you're gonna stay with me this whole time. Throughout this workout, I will be giving you progressions and regressions to make things a little bit easier or a little bit more challenging for you. Stay down, finish. It's the name of the game today, okay? Close grip push-ups. You're either gonna make a diamond or a field goal post. We're gonna get to the ground. I'm gonna go field goal post first. If you want to, you can go from your knees, lead with that chest, squeeze at the top, or full progression. Elbows are gonna go back. Squeeze the triceps. Good work. Well done. Okay, we're gonna hop to our feet. We're gonna do a squat and press. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side first and then I'll demonstrate straight on. Hands here in that rack position, pressing up overhead. Good. You're gonna sink those hips as low as your flexibility and mobility allows you to. And we're gonna press up. If you have a set of dumbbells, it's a good time to use them here. If not, stay with me. Good. Speaking of dumbbells, there will be other series that will include dumbbells, so be ready for that. We got a reverse lunge. We're gonna call it a curtsy reverse lunge. So, I'm straight on, we're stepping down and back. If that bothers you, a reverse lunge is fine. If not, we're here. Good. You should feel the glutes fire up. Well done. Okay, to the mat, bicycle crunch. You're with me here, we're targeting the abs. Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Here we go, get it moving. Well done, shoulders off the ground. Go all the way to the end. Good work. All right, we got two moves left. We got the bear crawl hold and reach and then the glute bridge. So you're here, lifting up, knees about an inch above the ground, shoulders directly above your wrist. This is a standard bear crawl hold, okay? Nice flat back. If you want to, we're gonna add a reach, keeping everything nice and still. Good. That's a strength movement right there. That's challenging. And then we're gonna finish with the glute bridge. So you're gonna be on your back. We're gonna go two legs for this round. Pushing through your heels, squeeze the glutes at the top. Good. Glutes and hamstrings. As soon as we're done with this, we're grabbing a drink. Keep squeezing. Now let's pick up the pace. Squeeze at the top. Good. Ooh, well done. Grab a drink. That is one cycle. We got three more to go. You've done a great job so far. First time, we're kind of feeling it out. Now we're gonna pick up the pace here. What's cool about that bear crawl movement is there's a lot of different variations that we're gonna build upon in some of the other programs that I have for you that are gonna get us moving. We call it contralateral, as if you're crawling 
uh, like a dog in a sense. We're gonna have you go side to side. And then obviously the reach is very challenging as well. But that really challenges your core, your midsection. And then you have to hold yourself up. So it's good for stabilization. <sighs> okay, we got 25 seconds. We're back to the ground. You have the plank shoulder taps. Now you can either go hand to hand, elbow to elbow, or shoulder to shoulder. We're picking up the pace on this one. I'm sweating tonight. I hope everything is going well wherever you are today. And tomorrow is going to be a great day as well. Here we go. And let's do it. Pick up the pace. Tap and go. 20 seconds. I want you moving. This can get our heart rate up a little bit. Keep those hips still. If you have to spread your feet just a little bit, that's fine. Good work. Well done. Okay, we got the sumo squat, so toes to the corners of the room. Chest up, hips back, and we're holding. You got this. Sometimes I kind of like to slide back and forth. Makes it a little bit more challenging. Stay down, chest stays high. Great job. Okay, we got the close grip push-ups coming up next. Short break, keep breathing. Diamond or field goal. We'll go diamond on this one. Full progression here. If you have to go from your knees, feel free to do that. Keep it moving. Lead with that chest. Finish strong. Good work. Definitely burns your triceps. Squat and press. Here we go. Rack position, pressing overhead. Keep sinking those hips. I always say that every workout I want you to drop low. Push yourself. Five seconds. Whew. Curtsy, reverse lunge. First option is just a standard reverse lunge. Pick it up. We got the curtsy. Wasn't this like a 1950s thing? With like a dress on or something like that? <laughs> if you know the answer to that, leave it in the comments. Good. That's how I can really tell if you're paying attention. Keep moving. Well done. And we got the bicycle crunch. Right elbow, left knee, shoulders off the ground. It's gonna engage the upper abs. Good work. Good rotation. Ooh, well done. All right, the bear crawl. All fours, here we go. Knees, inch above the ground, hanging out right here. Here with me. Now, we're gonna add a reach, keeping everything nice and still. Here we go. Good. Well done. And then we got the glute bridge to finish. For this one, let's go left leg in the air. We'll just target the right leg here. Tap and go. Push through the heel. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the hamstring. Next round, we'll hit the left leg. Good work. Woo. Feels good. Well done. Two down, two to go. We've reached the halfway point. Grab a quick drink and wipe that sweat off. I say it every workout, pair this workout with some of the other things that we do. You can create your own perfect workout every single day. 
Best of all, you can do this at your house, at work, at the gym. It's completely up to you. In this Tabata series, we have no equipment. Other uh, workouts that I have will have equipment. So we'll have dumbbells, we'll have uh, bands, and we'll have a variety of different, possibly kettlebells as well, um, to really push you. So round three coming up. We have plank shoulder taps to start. A good shoulder movement here along with that core. Two more to go. Stay with me the whole time. We're going quick. Here we go. Tap and go. If you got to touch your hands or elbows, that's fine too. Hips stay still. If you have to spread your feet just a little bit, gives you a better base. We're moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well done. All right, sumo squat hold. Toes wide. Chest up, sinking those hips. Praying to the higher power that this gets over with. No, we're not, we enjoy this. No pain, no gain, come on. And done, well done. Close grip push-ups, back to the field goal posts. A little bit tighter, here we go. Squeeze the triceps. You got this, if you have to go from the knees, that's fine. Keep leaning with that chest. Finish it, I see you. Woo. Well done. We got the squat and press now. Rock position, here we go. Drop and down and press. Good work. Let's pick it up a little bit. Get some speed and press. Use that momentum. You got this. Well done. Okay, we got the curtsy, reverse lunge. Stepping down, back, and to the side. Good work. And we're gonna pick up the pace. Feel the hip, each side. Reverse lunge is fine as well. Good work. And done. And the bicycle crunch. Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Get a good rotation as you go through. Good job. And we're moving. Got the bear crawl, hold with the reach. It's the hardest one of the day. All fours lift up, and we're gonna add that reach. Staying still. Shoulders stay above those wrists. And then we're gonna finish the glute bridge. Now, left leg stays down, right leg's going up. Here we go. Squeeze. We'll grab a drink right after this. Well done. All right, we got one more cycle to go. Feels good. Strength days are a little bit different than the cardio days. I want you to focus more on engaging those muscles. We're still gonna get that heart rate up, but it won't be as much as when we do the cardio. I'm running low on water. It's a predicament. So, 
So as always, your feedback is very important. The more that I hear from you, the more that I can create, and the more workouts that we can get onto this platform. That's the name of the game here. We're gonna be pumping out a lot of content, a lot of workouts. So far you've asked for it, we're gonna make more. All right, fourth quarter, this is it. Starting out, plank shoulder taps. We're gonna go as quick as we can. We'll be done in no time. Perfect time before the sun sets. Here we go. Tap and go. Get moving, get moving, get moving. Hips stay still. Last time we're doing this one. Good work. Woo, that starts to burn, I love it. Sumo squat hold. Let's do it. Are you one of those people that you have to move like your coffee table and everything in your living room so that you can do this workout? I appreciate that. Don't forget to move the coffee table back. That's gonna be your finisher for the day. Stay down. Good. We got the close grip push-ups. Back to the diamond. Let's do it. If you gotta go from your knees, here's what it looks like. Butt has to come with. Lead with that chest. Full progression. 10 seconds ago. Stay with me, I see you, come on. Woo! All right, squat and press. If you have that set of dumbbells, it's not required, but if you have it, bring them out here. Rack position. Dropping down and press. Good. Great work. Finish. You got it. Push, push, push. Good. Curtsy, reverse lunge. We got four movements left. Leave it all on the mat. Here we go. Down and back. Reverse lunge if you need to. If not, you're with me. Pick up the pace. Good. It's perfect. Whew. To the mat. Bicycle crunch. Let's do it. Shoulders up, we're going. Good. Whew. Two more to go. We got the tough one here. The bear crawl. All fours. Knees inch above the ground, and we're gonna hold. Shoulders directly above the wrists. Now, let's add that reach. Staying still. Good. Whew. And we're back to the glute bridge. This is it, 20 seconds. Both legs, two legs down. Push through the heels. Let's do it. Squeeze. And get a good pace. Well done. Don't stop short, you got this. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good job. Whew, well done. Whew, workout nine in the books. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. We got plenty more workouts coming. And the word of the day is going to be chicken. You better be eating chicken tonight. Have a good one.